Well, approximately 178 years after they announced it, Sora was finally released to the public last week. And, you know, of course, you've got your mixed reviews and is it worth the money and so on. But all of this keeps me looking at the open source or free alternatives for generating video using AI, whether it's text to video or image to video or even video to video. The strides being made in this space are pretty freaking amazing and they continue to get more amazing. And so today we're going to have a little fun and compare three of the top open open source contenders, two of which we've covered here on the channel already. We've got COG and LTX video, and we're now adding Hun Yuan. That's how I'm pronouncing it anyway, because that's how it's spelled. All of these different technologies have their strengths and weaknesses, and I'm going to do the best I can to level the playing field. For this test, we're going to use prompts or slight variations of the prompts that we're all familiar with because we've seen them used on the Sora videos, and all of these comparison videos seem to go back to those to see how the new video technology compares with the same prompt in Sora and so we're just going to do the same thing here. But this is not, and I repeat not, a comparison with Sora. At this point, this is apples and oranges. We're comparing these three. Let's stop talking about it and get into it. Now, just as a point of interest, it could have taken me hours and hours and hours to do this video, creating all of the examples I'm going to show you if I had to do them one right after the other. But luckily, because of our sponsor, Mimic PC, I did all of this work on remote computers for just a few dollars in just about an hour or an hour and a half because when I log into Mimic PC, I'm able to run multiple instances of these machines. So I have a machine running for each of the video techs we're going to use. And that way I could throw in a prompt in all three and have them running at the same time. There are most definitely differences in the rendering times of these videos. LTX's superpower is how fast it is. And it's way faster than these other two. But as you'd expect, there is often a quality trade-off. But you'd also be amazed at the quality that you can get out of those renderings. And that's what we're going to show you today. To demonstrate these, I'm using three different comfy UI workflows. This is the one for the Han Yuan video. This is the one for the Cog X video. And this is the one for the LTX video. In each instance, I'm going to show you the settings I used for that. And I'm going to do it by dragging in the file that was created with these workflows into comfy UI. And that will reset all the settings. To get the initial prompts, I've gone to promptsora.com. And here you see all these examples generated by Sora that we've seen for months and months and months and their associated prompts. So I just chose a few of these at random and I'm going to show you some of the results. The first Sora prompt we'll look at, and this of course is the Sora output, a movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on a 35 millimeter film, vivid colors. So we dropped that prompt into the COGX video workflow. My intent was to keep as many of the parameters the same between each of these workflows. So we are comparing apples to apples. They're all done in a landscape mode around the 720 by 480 or 760 by 512 dimensions. As I went along, I started playing with parameters like the number of steps and those are the types of differences we're going to be looking at as we go through these examples. I have all of these videos right here and what's wonderful about Comfy UI is I can just drag each of these in and it will load up the parameters used to create them. Let's start with the COGX video version. It looks like this and I thought it turned out quite well. As with all of these videos on all of the workflows, these are 48 to 49 frame animations. So they're fairly short depending on how many frames per second it was rendered when we combine them into a video. Video. This was done with 29 steps. Because LTX is so much faster than the others, I was able to do sometimes five or six different versions of an LTX render, while the other two were still rendering just one. So we do have a few more examples of LTX than the others. Now I learned in my early experimenting with LTX that you can really boost these steps up, and so I was really going for a higher range here, and I did 135 steps here, but I thought this did a really good job with that prompt. This is also LTX, but this time I only did 85 steps because I wanted to see what difference that would make. It just seems a little mushier than the other one and not quite as detailed. Here is the Han Yuan version. It's got a lot more detail and just everything's better about it. And the only thing I changed here was the steps to 39. Here was the next one from Sora. A brown and white border collie stands on a skateboard wearing sunglasses. Now when I got a really short prompt like that from Sora, I would take it into the glyph tool over here, which takes simple prompts and elaborates them a little bit. Because generally speaking, these video models like a little bit more detail than that. I've tested this several times and the more detail you give it, the better the output is going to be. So if I see something that's very simplified like that, I often ran it through there. I didn't do it every time, but just to let you know, and I've got a link to this tool in the description. Here's the result in COG video I got with a more detailed prompt generated by that tool and using 29 steps. Obviously it leaves a lot to be desired. Here's that prompt in LTX at 30 steps. Here it is at 141 steps. The quality is really interesting. The colors are beautiful. 
but we don't see a skateboard. Here it is at 91 steps. Again, no skateboard, but pretty colors. And nice detail with the fur too. It really is beautiful. There's just no skateboard. Because the skateboard wasn't showing up, I went back to the prompt on this one and added blue and purple to the detail of the skateboard. So the AI would say, oh, well, let's maybe put a little attention on this. And we do get a little bit of something here, which we're going to call the skateboard, but it's still not exactly what we were looking for. That's still around the 91 steps. This is also very close to that same exact prompt. And I just lowered the steps down to 53. The dog is great, the glasses are great, but we don't really see this as a skateboard or that he's riding it. Here is the Hanyuan version, and we have him riding on a skateboard. I don't believe I had the blue and purple in here because I didn't really need it. It saw the skateboard the first pass. Again, it's not as detailed and colorful as the Sora version, and that's not the point. We're comparing these three, and by far, this is much better. In general, as I got about halfway through these examples, I started thinking of Han Yuan as the mini-max of these three offerings. I just consistently got a better looking image. It did take time to render, but so does Cog X. It's not forever you're waiting, about five minutes or so per these short little videos, but compared to LTX, it seemed like an eternity. But you do get the quality for the wait, especially in the Han Yuan model. This was the next Sora prompt, and it was a freaking nightmare. It was very difficult to get anywhere near this, and I never really did, but let's take a look. Photorealistic close-up video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. That is a pretty short prompt. I tried it both short and embellished with the glyph tool. Let's look at some of the results. This is the COG X version. And to say I was disappointed with it is pretty much an understatement. I got 30 steps. This was early in my testing. I didn't go back and up the steps in this particular instance. As you'll see, this was not just a problem for COG. Here's one of the passes with LTX and an embellished prompt, which starts with hyper-realistic macro photography of two intricately detailed 18th century galleons locked in fierce combat. We've got 30 frames in this go-round and there is some interesting mush here, but I don't see any pirate ships. The Han Yuan version came the closest with one ship in a coffee cup. Uh, Believe me, there were many, many attempts at this with the other models and nothing was even worth showing you. So you saw the whole range there, almost a blank screen to some mushy in a cup and now this. Certainly in this case, Hun Yuan is the winner. On to the next Sora prompt, a close up view of a glass sphere that has a Zen garden within it. There's a small dwarf in the sphere who's raking the Zen garden and creating patterns in the sand. So here's the Cog X version, not too bad compared with some of the other stuff I was getting. And this was with just 29 steps. I believe I did go to the glyph tool to embellish this prompt a little bit because after multiple tests, I wasn't really getting too much of anything. Here is one LTX example. At 30 frames, there's no sign of the gnome. It's a pretty little picture, but it's not really following the prompt. Also LTX, same prompt, 40 steps. And I'm not sure what's happening here. It looks more like there's bugs running around than a gnome. Again, I want to be clear that I am really trying to be fair to all of these. I did go through these several times to try to get the very best I could out of each of these. I have no favoritism towards any of these models. I want them all to succeed. I decided to take a different approach because the gnome was missing so much. So I tried one more time with the prompt in this form with the LTX model by cranking it all the way up to 140 steps. And the best I got was some sort of figure back here in the background. So I decided this time just to rearrange the prompt and put the little guy at the beginning of the prompt instead of at the end. And now with running LTX and 91 steps, we at least get the guy and he is in a prompt. You're certainly a different look we're all thinking about when we have a prompt like this, but at least now I've got the guy in there. This is my first Hun Yuan. Hun Yuan, my first Hun Yuan when this is, this is my first. From now on, I'm calling Hun Yuan Honey because I'm tired of stumbling over it. So from now on, Honey, Hun Yuan, Honey. So this was my first attempt with the Honey model. And I was early on in the process and I hadn't started cranking up the steps yet. And this was the original version of the prompt where the little dude was not the central focus, but mentioned later. And this is the result we've got. Maybe you're in a globe and maybe there's something going on down there. There's definitely some sand happening if you study real close, but very hard to tell what's going on. So on several of these, I did a second round later after I did my first round. On my second time around with the honey model here, I just upped the steps to 39. And at least now we have a little dude in a sphere, but it's not really 
the kind of character that we were looking for there. This is the honey model with the prompt rearranged so that the dwarf monk is in the forefront. However, we don't see him here and I only did 39 steps. Next prompt, a tortoise whose body is made of glass with cracks that have been repaired using something that I cannot pronounce is walking on a black sand beach at sunset. So here's what we got from Cog with 29 steps. I did give it a more enhanced prompt but we still don't have much going on here. Now, some of these LTX attempts were monumentally off. This was 40 steps with the luminous glass tortoise strides across obsidian black volcanic sand and nobody's striding and no one would say that was a turtle. It's still a pretty image though. Here's what Honey did with it at only 30 steps and actually a pretty similar generation at 20 steps, although not nearly as detailed. And who could forget this Sora classic? Drone view of waves crashing, etc. This is probably the least interesting of them. This is COG. And just because I say things like this is the least interesting, I'm not bashing the tech. They all produce great results. Just in this example, I'm not going, oh my God, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So 29 steps. Again, this was early in my testing. I haven't really been pushing these things up with the step number. This is another one where I have a lot of LTX examples because I could just keep cranking them out and they all looked great. This was 30 steps with LTX. This is also LTX at 30 steps. And here's the honey version. Sorry if it's bugging you that I'm calling it honey, but it's bugging me trying to say Hun Yuan and not even knowing if that's correct every single time. At least with honey, I know I'm wrong. Again, amazing output from this model. Let's do the mammoths, right? Several giant woolly mammoths approach treading through snowy meadow. We've seen this one a zillion times. It's a very impressive display for Sora. Here's the cog version. As you can see, it's actually got some mammoths going there, walking through the snow. And you'll see that's quite an achievement. You can see the LTX model was having a little bit of a problem creating a mammoth. I love whatever these things are. I want to hug one. I want to own one. However, it is not a woolly mammoth. This was with 84 steps. So we popped it up to 100 steps to see if we could get it more mammothy looking. And um, no, we did not. I still find those animals very interesting and they look like they'd be extremely soft, but probably smelly. And their fur's probably natively white, you know? And that's just dirty animals right there. So in this case, I took it way down just to see what would happen. I took it down to 40 steps and now we've just got this. I, I could watch this all day, but we can move on. Not surprisingly, Honey makes the best showing here. We've actually got some woolly mammoths and it's snow and they're identifiable. And I think they're definitely better quality than the cog, not sore quality, but between the three of them, this is the clear winner. And the environment looks fantastic too. Okay, next Sora prompt was a surreal scene unfolds as a giant translucent jellyfish floats gracefully through a deserted cityscape at dusk. So Cog did give us a jellyfish, blue and translucent. It's going through a city. I think it did a pretty good job. This was 29 steps. LTX did struggle with this. This was 75 steps and we do have some sort of a thing floating around in the sky and it's rainy and you know, but it's not a jellyfish. Here we popped it up to 58 steps and we lose the jellyfish completely unless that's what we're looking through, like the tendrils of the jellyfish. Here's the honey version, definitely the best of them all by far. This was only 35 steps. I call it honey because the results are so sweet. <sighs> We can't really not do this one, right? The stylish woman walking down the Tokyo street. Well, here's what Cog gave us at 29 steps. When I get results like this with such a low frame rate, I think the frame rate was set for eight on the playback. It really screams for interpolation. So I think that putting some kind of interpolator node between the rendering of the images, combining them into the video is probably something you're gonna wanna do for some of these with these lower frame rates. Or you're gonna wanna adjust the frame rate of the output video, but then it might be extremely short. Now I attempted this with LTX with several different steps as you will see this is 30 steps and it might be among one of the better ones although certainly nothing to write home about and again don't get me wrong i freaking love the ltx model it does great stuff and it's fast but some prompts it just doesn't handle as well as others here i put it up to 50 steps and so we've still got really no detail on the face or anything like that it's just kind of a mushy thing and here it is at 100 steps and i was really hoping for more but there's really not a lot of movement it seemed to have stifled the woman a good bit there might be more detail details here and there, but it really had an adverse effect on the animation. I tried it again just for good measure at 100 frames, and now we don't really have the focus on the woman at all. I guess that's her right there, but she doesn't have the focus and it's not very sharp. And here's what Honey did with it. 
It's not what we were hoping for, is it? She's just sort of skating along. Definitely more detailed. Overall, the image looks way better. There's more consistency in everything, but that's not the kind of natural walking movement we were going for. But again, only 35 steps here. We could keep playing with this. So to wrap this up, I wanted to do something that was more kind of stock footage and natural, actual video that you would see in everyday life. And this is the young professional product reviewer in the well-lit studio, etc. So he's got all his gadgets around here. Cog had a very interesting result at 29 steps. It's a nice image image and everything, but what the heck is he doing with his uh, hair exactly? Here's an LTX version at 68 steps. Not a bad job. Here's LTX at 95, even sharper. And here is the Honey version. It's pretty darn close to looking like stock footage. And this is on a local machine that took about five minutes to render. Now, as I said, all of these models have their own sort of superpowers, and I didn't feature their superpowers necessarily. LTX is the speed, but you didn't watch that render. I got to benefit from it, and you got more examples as a result. Honey, or the Hun Yuan model, is clearly the best in terms of the quality of the final output and the resolution. It really does seem to have an edge over the others, but of course we wait for those results. COG video has some amazing things going on right now, using control nets and other ways to control the output of the animation even more, so we can do these interesting video-to-video -video transfer effects, much like we did with the Animate Diff technology, only with even more consistency. I will leave links in the description to each of these workflows so that you can pop in here onto Mimic and try them for yourself. If these are the types of cool creative tools you like to learn more about and keep up with, well then why not subscribe to this channel, because this is the kind of thing we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...